Hello, and welcome to ALW Collectibles. I am ALW, and today we will be reviewing Double Pretender Optimus Prime and Megatron from 2017. This was an exclusive internet set. So I'm gonna start off by showing the inside of the box. It's kind of hard to see. It was just a foam insert, the foam, foam overlay. Unlike a lot of them that come in a window box, there's just a brown box with a foam insert. So today we have Pretender, Double Pretender Megatron, and Double Pretender Optimus Prime. So what we're going to start with is Megatron. And Megatron has a couple accessories, of course, comes with his bio, his instruction sheet, Megatron, Space Warp, a connector point, his sword, and his gun. So we're going to start off by looking at his instruction sheet. And the reason I'm showing these e instruction sheets today is for this part right here. Those of us who got the set realized real quick, there's no instruction on how to put Megatron in the shell if you take him out. The photo they have is for a headmaster. So let's take a quick look at him. I particularly like how they actually put a little bit of design and coloration in there. And each one was individually stamped. Again, this was an internet exclusive set. And a lot of the weapons on these are reused from other toy lines. His black sword is actually the sword that was used with Titan's Return Leader Class Optimus Prime. His rifle was also from the Titan's Return toy line. It was Sentinel Prime's gun. Articulation wise, all he can do is bring his arm up that high because of the way it's designed and down that far. I mean, the only complaint I have, I wish they'd done a little bit remolding to make it more Megatron look in the face because they took the direct toy line. The shell itself is from the 1988 Japanese exclusive Grand Max Maximus. They use the exact same mold with no alterations, just colors. So now we're gonna take a look on the inside of him. So what we're gonna do, a lot of people like to pull on the shoulders. I don't, because these are just pinned in. I try to grab the chest plate and wiggle him open. And this always happens. Space Warp loves to fly around. That's Megatron and Space Warp inside the shell. There's the inside of the top of the shell. We're going to take Megatron and Space Warp out. And there's that. We're going to take his shell. Give him back his guns because we're not going to need them anymore. And put him off to the side. So this is Megatron and Space Warp. Kind of a funky little arrangement in there. He looks like he's in a very weird yoga pose. And Space Warp is actually attached via this connector plate, which clips on top of Megatron. This connector plate is purposely designed, whoops, I drop it, to look like the silver gun that came with the Generation 1 Megatron. And I did lie, because we're going to put the silver connector piece back in here. This is where I store mine so it doesn't get lost. It will not fit into either Optimus or Megatron's hand because of little clips in the back. So let's start off 
with Space Warp. It's kind of a funny because Space Warp's bio lists the toy as a female. And at the time, there wasn't that many female Transformers out, so it was actually pretty cool. Space Warp is a recolor of Generation's payload. And Space Warp is a target master. Sorry, kind of a fast spin there because it fell out of my hand. Articulation wise, the arms can go that far because of the wings. And it's up to you if you want the wings up or down. They say to have them up. This piece here is used for transformation. So the first transformation is to the shuttle mode. You're gonna take this wing assembly flip it down and just push the hands back. And it's just basically the robot form with the wings folded down. Now, to make the cannon, all you're going to do is bring the wings back again. Right here, in the abdomen flips up to make a handle and the feet come back. You can have this, you cannot have this down because you'll see that the piece here now interferes with it. And that's when I like to bring the hands up just for support. And there, the space warp in her gun mode. I'm gonna take her, put her off to the side. And next is Megatron. From his yoga pose, all we're gonna do is bring his arm up bring his arm, we're gonna take his cannon, and push it to the side, bring his arm up, swing his cannon out, straighten his arms, take the leg, I'm gonna rotate it, bring it down, rotate it, and bring it down, and bring down his arms. And here is the Megatron. And now he doesn't wanna stand up. Come on, buddy, it's your time to shine in the light. So Megatron is a recolor of his Generations class figure. He's done in a Arctic camo scheme, which was supposed to be released in Generation 2, but they decided against it. So it was used for this mold. Let's get to take a look at it. I do like the head sculpt. I wish it was just a little bit better paint job. It's got a black face with red eyes and a white cap. And normally I give you know, my dislikes about a lot of the figures. And up till now with the, the other two pieces of him, I have no real complaints. But with this actual figure, I do have some issues with it. And we'll get to those in a second. Articulation wise, this head can turn that far and that far. Due to these parts right here and the sides of his helmet, arms can go all the way around, elbow can go all the way around, he can bend. Same thing for this arm, all the way around, up and down. All the, this one has more of a hard time, you have to bring it all the way out to rotate it. And his gun can go all the way around. You can straighten his arm and put it up there on top like he's holding an actual gun. No waist rotation. You can do the full splits if you move his arms out of the way. Leg can go back that far because of the wheel. You can go this far because of the little bump. Knees, very nice knee, deep knee bend. And with this one, you get toe tiltage. My biggest complaint with this is this cannon. I think if they were gonna take and update the color scheme, they should have changed the cannon mold. Sorry, mine doesn't like to stay clipped together. To make it more like a Megatron cannon. And I wish these could have tucked in just a little bit better than they do, because they keep popping out. And I think the bright, bright white actually offsets with the figure a lot, because the rest of it is pretty much a desaturated scheme. One thing I really do enjoy is that they use the Generation 2 logo instead of a regular one. And they do put his manufacturer number right there, supposedly. And what's cool is you can take Space Warp and have Megatron holding her as a weapon. 
Space Warp's just a typical 5mm port. Set that aside. Down to transformation for Megatron. First thing you're gonna do, straighten both arms. If it doesn't do it already, you're gonna take this piece at this hinge, pop it forward. Same thing on this side, pop it forward. You're gonna want the gun barrel to go down. First thing you're gonna do, though, before it does that, you're gonna bring it inside. You wanna make sure it's a little bit past this part here in the back. And you wanna make sure this nub is pointing sideways. You're gonna take this arm, turn it, so that this is pointing up and this fist is pointing in. And these are just gonna to come together, form the turret, and that post will go right into his hand. And you can see it's on a spring, and it moves all the way around. The feet, you're gonna pull them open. There's two hinges in here. There's actually three. You got one at the knee and two on the ankle. And you're just gonna take and fold it at the knee, come up, the toe you want pointing in because the toe is gonna go underneath this turret, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Make sure it's nice and straight when you do this. It makes it so much easier. And there is Megatron in his tank mode. And there's a lot of visible everything if you look at it. When you look from underneath, you can pretty much make out the entire toy. I know this is only a Legends class, so you really can't expect the greatest thing, but a little bit more concealing would have been nice. I do like how they painted the treads and they're actually grooved. I just wish there was a way of having the wheel in the tread so it would have looked a little bit better like this one. Articulation wise, the turret does move. It only goes that far because of the hands. Actually, the thumb connects that with that. And that is Megatron. The second half of the set is Optimus Prime. And now, I do have a couple tiny complaints about the shell, but I'll get into them like I always do. First things first, we're gonna take a look at it and give you a little bit of history on the shell. The shell itself is a recolor of a Decepticon called Oil Master. He was a double pretender as well. I do like the expression on the face. On this one, Oil Master was originally released in 2015 and the red and gray color scheme that they actually have was an unused prototype for another one they had. And they gave it to Optimus. I think it would have been nice if they could have incorporated some blue into it a little where, but somewhere, like right up in here, or maybe have some designs in here, just to give him the full Optimus Prime color, but that's that. So you do have two ports in the back. You can take his weapons and store them in here. Speaking of his weapons, first one up is this gray gun, which was actually a reissue from Generations Orion Pax. It's the exact same gun that he comes with. And this one here is from Legends Class Optimus Prime. Now, with Megatron, he does a traditional split in half shell optimus doesn't do that oh sorry i almost forgot something articulation shoulders can rotate and the head turns slightly it's very very tight i don't like moving it but as i was saying he doesn't split in half he actually has everybody hidden in his backpack This is Q, and this is Optimus Prime. Close that back up, put you in there. And this gun is actually supposed to go to him, and I think 
My big, one of my biggest complaints with him, besides the paint job, is the size of his gun is disproportionate for this figure. Megatron gets a nice long sword, he gets a tiny dinky gun. First, we're gonna look at high Q. This is a connector point and a pin for his gun mode later. But for right now, we're gonna put it away. And high Q is a recolor, a 2014 figure called Flanker. It's just a white face with a blue visor, two blue dots there. I really like the overall look. Pull his wings back, flip that back, and he's transformed into robot mode now. Articulation, I'm just gonna go up that far because it hits, and comes back that far because of his thumb, both sides. Black. I like the way this one looks overall. I just wish there would have been something more color scheme on him. Now, hopefully he wants to cooperate with us today. He is also a target master gun, just like Space War. And to do this, instead of grabbing the shoulders, you have to grab the legs and pull forward. And you're gonna pop it down at the feet. This whole assembly is on a pin. It comes up, there's a little notch above his head, and there's part of that barrel. Goes right there, and you just flip that out. And there is his target master mode. And now we come to Optimus Prime. And he is actually a recolor of Swerve, who was released in 2014, Legends class, with a new head sculpt. He does roll, and so does a Megatron, by the way. Not sure that. My complaint in truck mode is that this part disconnects so easily. It always does. Anybody I know that has owned this figure, and I've talked to a couple people, same issue they have. And he can actually hold high Q in both his modes. Same thing with Megatron. Megatron can hold space case, but it offsets Megatron, and he, she takes him over. So transformation, you're going to start in the back with the feet, Put your thumb between the thighs and push. That's going to push this whole body back. You're going to flip out his legs. His arms are joined uh, right there. Right there. You're going to take the hood and just fold it back. And that's it. So see this whole piece rocks for transformation. And if you look at it and know that the toy was originally swerved, you can actually see the actual design and what was changed. The only thing really changed was it does have a nice, nice head sculpt. But because of the way the toy is designed, mobility on it is hard. You can only rock it back and forth. Now the proto, oh, prototype, yeah. The recolor is based on the Generation 2 Transformer Optimus Prime. You can see with mine though, because he's been transformed a few times, it's already starting to scrape on the back legs. So I don't like to transform him too often. And this is his gun. My other big complaint is his hood is in the way, right behind the head, so it looks like he's got an entire backpack over him. Take the gun back out of his hand. Articulation, rotation at the shoulder, elbow. Head, like I said, can go up and down. Nothing at the waist. You can do the full splits. Leg can go back pretty good 
and forward. And he's got a very deep knee bend because of his transformation. There's nothing on the feet on him. And with these, you can actually pose his arms up and down a little bit for different poses. And he can hold IQ. And he's actually a pretty stable figure. I will give him that. A lot of small figures like this, you put them in the hands, they're going to pull the, the weight of it's going to pull it down. Oop. Getting away from me today. The other accessory he does come with is, of course, his bio card. And his instructions which they use a stock photo and they actually use swerve intent flankers instructions on how to transform them last review I'll give a technical data if I have it for each one I want to give it to you so we're gonna start with Megatron's because we did his originally so for Megatron let me fix this guy Megatron, his strength is a 10. Intelligence, 10 plus. Speed is a 9. Endurance, a 10. Rank is a 10 plus. Courage is a 10. Fire Blast, 10 plus. Skill is a 10. For Optimus Prime, strength is a 10. Intelligence is a 9. Speed is a 7. Endurance is a 10. Rank is a 10. Courage is a 10. Fire Blast is an 8. And Skill is an 8. Optimus's motto is always the same. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. And Megatron's motto, embrace tyranny or forfeit peace. Those are the choices the universe offers. Thank you for coming to see my channel today. This is ALW saying come back next time. And have a nice day.